The sun rises over the Cordillera Blanca mountains high in the Peruvian Andes. These mountains are home to huge glaciers that provide water for farming and drinking to millions across northern Peru. But they are literally melting away at an astonishing rate. One third have gone in just 10 years. 72% of the world's tropical glaciers are here. They exist around the equator at altitudes above 4,000 meters. But because of their position on the equator, they are particularly sensitive to climate change. As the world warms, the glaciers retreat. You used to be able to drive to the glaciers in Peru. To see them now, you have to walk. Charlie Good has been here for 17 years. He took us to the Yanapacha Glacier at just under 5,000 meters. The changes to the mountains and its glaciers because of global warming are, he says, all too obvious to see. You can see that massive rock slab which is now exposed. When I was here 17 years ago, or maybe even 15 years ago, that has receded all the way, way back, so a couple of hundred meters. Um, and when I was actually up here in November a couple of years ago, we had about, no, there's maybe one waterfall coming off that glacier. In November, when the sun's almost directly overhead because we're tropical, there were nine waterfalls coming off it. That means it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's, it's just, it's melting before your eyes. I mean, it's, it's, I was crying. I was, I was filming a, a clip and just crying about how much water is coming off that glacier. The melting waters from the glaciers fill huge lakes that in turn provide water further downstream. Too much water and they flood and the water is lost. Climate change and increasing temperatures hit this part of the world in the 1970s. Glaciers started melting. Now, it wasn't a disaster because huge amounts of water was released, went down the valleys and went eventually all the way to the deserts near the coast where there was a farming bonanza because of the huge amount of water that was created. The problem is that water and that agriculture was dependent upon these glaciers, but they are melting at an incredible rate. And very soon, perhaps in the next two decades, there won't be any water. And those farms will all be in desert once again. Across northern Peru, the glacial waters are directed into vast farms. Its produce exported worldwide. These are strawberries grown on the side of the mountain. Experts say that increasingly erratic climate conditions and the drop in glacial water is threatening these farms' existence. But the water that comes One of the world's leading authorities on this is Cesar Porto Carrero. He's been warning Peru and the world about the effects of climate change for two decades. Now, he says, we're on the edge of disaster. We have to think in the new generation, not in us. We are going to live this nice world in some time in the near future, but we are living the problem, as James Hansen say, storms for our grandchildren. We are living the problem for them. And if we love them, we should work since now. Lima is one of the world's driest capitals. It barely rains. Without the precious glacial water that is directed to the centre of town, it would all look like this. A desert with people struggling to live. Even the people on the edge of town depend on water channeled to them from the glaciers. Without the glaciers, there is no life. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Peru.